Hello, this is Nightmare, the most feared player of Kingdom, 785. Take a look at this. A Stronghold 9 is being attacked by guess who? Who is attacking my Stronghold 9 player? Oh look, a Stronghold 41 player called Queen Lana. So Queen Lana attacks Stronghold 9 players? Really? Really? Look at this, a Stronghold 12 is under attack as well. Who is attacking the Stronghold 12? Oh look at that, Queen Lana. She spends thousands and thousands of dollars and only attacks Stronghold 9 and 12 players. Like seriously? Also watch this. Look at her march. It's off the screen, right? The march is off the screen. Now look. Speed up. Super speed. She sped up to attack a Stronghold 12 player. Like what the heck? A Stronghold 41 has to speed up attacks to attack Stronghold 12 people. That's pretty weird. I wonder why I attack them. So here's their farm alliance. One. They're constructing an alliance tower side so side to attack it. Because they're attacking stronghold 9 12 players. Might as well attack them. So look at that. Boom dead. So here's that bad report of the tower 1 is constructing. They lost 64 million power. Now they lost 1 million power. Look at all his troops lost. Insane amount. So as you can see, they had one Noob 1, they had Wanda, they had Billy and Tommy. Look right there. They had Queen Lana's bitch, Lucifer Morning, Lana 1, Little Fox, Baby Fox. What is that? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 people I attacked. See how two of them are named Lana? It's because she's an ASY plus 1. She has both of them. They're both her alliance. So attacking 1, boom dead. They're also demolishing this RUS tower. Attacking that as well. Boom, dead. As you can see, the person demolishing that was Queen Lana's bish. Then after that, I get teleport frozen by Queen Lana. Really far away from their hive. They start scouting their members. 294,000 troops right there in the one alliance. I'm like seriously eight minutes away from like everybody. To do marches. Some teleport frozen. Kind of annoying. Look at that. Before my attack hits one G-Man. Queen Lana attacks it. To beat me to it. And the march is moving pretty fast too. So she sped that up. I scout this guy on 79,000 troops. I say use that money and attack my castle. Then she says, I'll let you eat all my marches if you had no reins. That's what Queen Lana says. And I say, I'll make a video of Lana attacking SH9 Castle. It will make me $40 and Lana just loses time and money. And she just says, you attack our farms 24-7. It's only fair I get to attack yours. How's a stronghold 9 and 12 a farm? It's like not even a castle at that point. I do say Lana is raising kills as she attacks her own farms before I can hit them. Because yeah, the whole one alliance is like all Lana's farms. She's speeding up to beat me to them. So I post cords in chat of this castle I'm about to hit. Let's see what happens here. All Lana's good at is killing herself. She says she wants to be big and strong just like me. That's never going to happen. So, yep, she scouts the castle I'm attacking. And then she starts to attack the castle I'm attacking. So she's attacking her players before I can attack them. To beat me to the kills. And resources. So it's got this guy here 12,000 troops. And this guy here 34,000 troops. And this guy 60,000 troops. So it's three castles to start three attacks at once. And then of course Queen Lana attacks them before I can. How mean is that? She teleported there to attack her own people before I could. I probably made her like a million kills so far. She just thanked me for that. But I actually beat her to that one castle because she was ignoring it. She's too busy farming the other one for resources. Look at that. Queen Lana started a mega rally on me. 
Then I attack Ruthless F2 from ASY. Kill that guy. And Queen Lana canceled the Mega Rally. Really? There goes 2,000 gold. Then I scout this guy from ASY and he actually teleports. Just off of me scouting him. That's kind of hilarious. All I have to do is scout their members and they start teleporting away. That's how scared they are of me. See, so Lana gave up. One Mega Rally, I mean, let's say I have at least 2 million troops. They only had like a million in that Mega Rally, so they didn't do it. And they canceled it. So I killed that guy, 11 million power that he lost. Mega Rally halted, obviously. And DK says, Lana, do you shave your armpits or your mustache more frequently? And after DK says that, Queen Lana gets mad and starts spam attacking me with 36 troops. See, my last member really pissed her off by saying that. What do you shave more, your armpits or your mustache? I guess that angered her. So I'm getting spam attacked over and over again. Look at her stats. They're higher than mine are. And she's sending no dragon, and I have a dragon. That's kind of funny. And she won't solo attack me at the real march. Look at Lana's stats. No dragon, and higher than mine. YouTube is laughing at you. Seriously. Her stats are that high. She spends that much, but she won't do a real attack. She only does 36 troop marches. Then she says, just a taste of her own medicine. I told you, lose the eight reigns, then I'll attack you. Yeah, right. The people that reign me have lower stats than me. Are you scared of them? And scared of me? You know I can't mega garrison my castle, right? I seriously have like stronghold 18 players reinforcing me because they're my farms. They're like pathetic with pathetic stats. There's Queen Lana teleport next to me, attacking me still. I'm attacking these other ASY players. Lana's still attacking me. My attack hits ASY. Boom, dead. ASY's dead. They lost 6 million more power while Queen Lana's sending really small marches. So now I just say, why don't you use a Dragon Shadow and attack me five times at the same time with 36 troops? It'll work a lot better. Like that'd speed things up a bit, wouldn't it? Then I say, you watch my SH-36 color members and you do nothing about it. All you do is spend money and do nothing. Go move to China. You're giving more money to China. I'm a farm compared to your stats. And you won't hit me, LOL. She's mad I hit their farms, but I'm seriously a farm compared to her. Go move to China on your bike. And she says, I'll suicide my troops into you if you lose reins. And I say, if you're going to suicide, just do it right now. Then move to China when you're done. Look at all the Lana farms. Lana mad. Lana angry. So now I'm attacking Ruthless 5. Boom, he's dead. Then she says, it's okay, I'll go get them tomorrow. She's, then I say, go sleepy sleep, it's your bedtime. And she says, I hope you don't build any more alliance towers. Is that a threat? Someone else says, ZZ, 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 using a kingdom loudspeaker. And I say, other kingdoms know it's your bedtime. So I scout this guy, has about 400,000 troops. From one. And Lana says, lose the reins, I'll attack you solo. It's a deal. And I say, in war, there are no deals. You either attack or you don't. You obviously don't. You either die or you don't. Your alliance obviously dies. Seriously. Here's a guy I scout with 400,000 troops. Start to attack him. Look at that. Lana teleports in to beat me to attack him. So again, I get denied kills, denied some resources, but who cares? You sure are using a lot of teleports just to attack your own members. Meanwhile, I'm teleport banned and just chilling. And she attacks a Spartano 3 and a Spartano 1 before I can attack them. And I just scout them.
So yeah. Lana will have lots of resources after this. I hope she pays back her members. Then she says, nope, they're mine now. Like all she does is steal from her own people. What a bad alliance leader. Lana's anti-Mexican. Look at all the Mexican people she's attacking that station in her own alliance. Lana is racist. She's attacking her Mex Mexican alliance members. That has to be racism right there. So I scout this guy, 176,000 troops. Then Lana teleports away and stops attacking me. And I say, Lana, where'd you go? Hit me some more, BB. I'll hit you back harder because I'm a man. Yeah, if a woman hits you, you hit them back harder. That's how it works. So I attack that guy that I scouted. Hiram Hall is dead. Then I'm attacking ASY now. It's just one troop marches over and over again to try and scare them. I confuse them. So they just sit there and reinforce their members nonstop. They watch every move I make. They follow every move I make and they reinforce their members. There's Queen Lana reinforcing somebody. But I'm seriously just doing like one troop marches over and over again. To waste their time. But look at that. I had a real march mixed in. I killed that guy. He lost 28 million power. So I have like 99% be one troop marches. But then I have 1% be real march. To catch them off guard. So they're sitting there like spam reinforcing everybody. Panicking. Just look at him. Reinforcing Jeremy. Reinforcing Golden Knight. Reinforcing that guy. Reinforcing that guy. They just reinforce non-stop. And most of the marches are one troop marches. So I'm going to have it hit. I lose nothing. Just wasting their time. But then some of the attacks are real like that one. So that was a real attack. That guy lost 3 million power. So you have to mix it up a bit. Do one troop marches, then one real march. And I kick out EMP randomly out of my alliance, because, yeah, screw that guy. Kicking him out. And EMP randomly goes in Kingdom Chat and says, Wolf, a roo! And starts howling like a wolf. That's interesting. So I attack Blade, the real march, as well. He loses 9 million power. I post a report. Kingdom chat and say, fire, 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 fire. I don't even need my dragon. Me strong. Me strong. So after that, I switch attacking tiles for a bit. Boom, dead. Attack that tile. That one guy actually recalled before I hit him because he's scared. So I attack this tile. And boom, dead. Another tile, boom, dead. So I attack tens and tens and tens of probably like a hundred tiles. It's boom, dead, boom, dead, boom, dead, boom, dead. But I scout this tile, look at this. Titan from ASY, look at those tier 11s. 279,000 tier 11 troops with no dragon. But then someone starts to attack my strong 12 player. So I reinforce him. Look at this. Boom, dead. The guy attacks a strong 12 player and winds up dying. So he lost 7 million power. What a noob. So here's the Titan's tile I scouted. I attack him. All his tier 11s are all gone. Boom. Poof. So here's some of the tile battle reports. As you can see, there's Titan. He lost 38 million power in that attack. Titan again. Lost 38 million power. Titan again. 38 million power. So right here, he lost 38 million. Right here and right here. It's three times. Say so the guy lost 38 million power three times in a row because he's farming on tiles with his full army. Like, who the hell is that dumb? Obviously, he is. See, so I got a lot of dragon experience off of these tile hits. But then look at this. His stats are almost exactly the same as mine are, even though he has no dragon. So imagine if he had a dragon. He'd beat me, hands down. He would have higher stats all across the board if he had his dragon. See, after those three tile hits, I decided to log off. Give them a break. Let them heal their troops back up before I start attacking them again. So that's it. Subscribe.